Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we can practice microcontroller programming. Normally, we write the program in any editor in assembly language or C language. After writing the program, we need to convert it into hex files by using different softwares. That hex file ultimately need to burn into the microcontroller. This is normal procedure. But at a particular moment, if I don't have the microcontroller or if I don't have the microcontroller development port, then how we can practice the programming? For practicing, we need simulator or simulation software. There are number of simulators available in the market. If we do the net search, then we will get number of simulators like MCU8051, ATSIM51, JSIM51, BioPM, Pinnacle, IR Workbench, J51, GSIM51, 8051ID, HT8051, MID51 and so many others. We may use any one of these. I have used few among these. In this tutorial, I am showing how to download and install MCU8051 IDE. Entering into the process of downloading and installation, please subscribe the channel. It will encourage me to upload more and more important tutorials. In my browser, I am searching MCU8051 IDE for Windows. First one, MCU8051 IDE, entering into here. This summary, next files, entering into these files. Here see, MCU8051 IDE entering into it this is the version 1.4.9 clicking here this is the latest version see here mcu8051 ide hyphen 1.4.9 setup.exe i'll download this one so clicking on this exe file your download will start shortly download started it is going on i am downloading this from sourceforce.net it will take just few seconds. The file size is around 7.4 MB. Taking the file. Keeping the file in my desktop. Next, I need to download small device C compiler. I am searching HDCC setup.exe for Windows. The small device C compiler from sourceforge.net entering into the site. This is latest version 4.1.0 entering into this. See SDCC 4.1.0 setup.exe. Downloading this one, clicking here. Your download will start shortly. Start download. Download started. It is around 4.9 MB size. Download completed. Taking the file. Keeping this in my desktop. Now these are two files. One is MCV8051 IDE hyphen 1.4.9 hyphen setup.exe. This is one exe file. Another one is HDCC hyphen 4.1.0 hyphen setup.exe. Now I need to install these two files. For installing first one, clicking on this. This is the setup wizard. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. This is the destination folder. I may change, but I am not changing here now. Next. Next. Create a desktop icon. I am selecting it. Next. Install. Launch MCU8051 ID. View the readme file. I am unchecking this to finish. After installation, this icon MCU8051 ID has been created on my desktop. Next, installing SDCC, clicking on this, next, 
I agree. Next, these are different components to install. I am installing all of these. Next, keeping the destination folder as it is. Install. Adding HDCC into my path variable. I am checking this one. Next. Now see whether MCU8051 ID has been installed or not. To run this, clicking this icon from my desktop to open MCU8051 ID. Welcome to MCU8051 ID. Here the main features are written. Where to start? Create a new project. Enter project name. OK. I may start from here. Clicking OK. Project. New project. Giving a project name. Say so first, selecting a project directory. Say so in my desktop, I am selecting a folder delete. Okay. Here, I need to select type of microcontroller. I am selecting the first one, say 8051. I may use the external RAM and external ROM. For that case, I will have to check this one. From here, I can see the address also. At present, I am not using it, so I am unchecking this one. Then, okay. Now, see, this is the first page of MCU8051 IDE. So, MCU8051 IDE has been installed perfectly. So, from this, we got to know how to download and install MCU8051 IDE. Try to do it in your machine. It is very easy to download and install. In next tutorial, I will discuss how to start with MCU8051 IDE. Please subscribe. Put your comments and queries in comment section.